The first thing I like to do is cook my sauce for my spaghetti. So I'm going to slice up a chilli. If you're using fresh garlic, also chop up your garlic at the same time because you'd be cooking off the chilli and the garlic in the same pot. I'm going to keep the seeds in. If you don't like a bit of heat, remove the seeds and then slice up the chilli without the seeds. And stick that in a pan with olive oil to cook off. Remember, generous amount of olive oil that's what gives some of the sauce the depth all right so this and cooking down your passata for longer so that's start to cook i've got a wee handful of basil and i'm just going to chop that up in a thin strands because that's what we're going to add to the sauce so we're just going to fry off the chili for a few minutes So just lifted this off the heat because I'm going to add my teaspoon of garlic puree paste and that starts to spurt really quickly so I'm just going to spread it. <laughs> Think that's funny eh? Just for a, a few seconds in the hot oil and then open up your puree, not puree, passata sorry, and add that into. Once you've added that, we're going to want to simmer that on a medium heat for 10 to 15 minutes. That's the important bit. Whilst your sauce is simmering, we're going to bash out the chicken. So put your chicken between cling film. Now I'm just going to actually take out the little mini fillets that are here. Use them for something else, maybe chicken me or something again, right? Lay it over another one, get yourself a rolling pin or something you can use to bash it. And get to bashing. Once you've bashed them out, it'll give you fillets like that. Easier to bread, all the same size, thickness. It just means when you cook them, it's a lot easier to control how thoroughly or when they're cooked. Next egg in a bowl and whisk it up. We're going to do the three step process for the chicken, the flour, the egg, the breadcrumbs. So breadcrumbs, I've got panko interspersed with the fine breadcrumbs. You can use one or the other. The panko just gives it a really nice crunchy texture so I definitely encourage that. After about 10 minutes, the sauce, I've been stirring throughout. I want you to put in a generous handful of your smoldering salt, your pepper, your handful of chopped basil, and then grate in your Parmesan cheese. Give that a stir. And once your Parmesan's melted in, that is basically your sauce going to be ready for the cooked spaghetti, which we'll do right at the end. So just put that off to one side. You're going to cook the spaghetti and toss through the sauce to serve. To the breadcrumbs, I'm going to add a little bit of the garlic granules. Probably half a teaspoon. And a little bit of the nigella seeds. And that is purely for an aesthetic thing for me. The flour that you coat the chicken in first, I'm also going to season that with some salt and pepper. Then what we're going to do, you're going to get yourself a chicken fillet, you're going to coat it in the flour first, then dip it in the egg and then in at the breadcrumbs and we're going to do that with both of them and then stick them on a plate ready for frying. Get yourself a deep dish frying pan size thing if you can and we're going to fill it up with a, enough vegetable oil to cover one of the fillets. So I'm going to heat up the oil. We don't want it too hot because we are going to obviously cook the chicken. We want the chicken to be cooked through. You don't want the outside to go really dark brown before the chicken's cooked. So I sometimes put it in a high heat, allow it to heat up and then drop it down probably to about like medium to high. So you want your oil hot but not smoking and then you're going to place in your chicken. 
and we're going to be turning it over so see how it's just skimming that that's that's exactly what we're looking for So while you're cooking your chicken, I'm going to cook the spaghetti in salted boiling water as per package. After three and a half to four minutes, I'm going to three and a half. I want you to turn that over and go the same on the other side. Three and a half, four minutes. Once that's ready, get a plate, some kitchen roll, and put your chicken on top. And go in with the other one. If you do both at once and it immerses it totally in the oil, i.e. you won't actually need to turn it, you can keep it like that. However, I will say because it's sitting on the bottom, that will probably go darker more than the top side. So I would still encourage you to flip it. When your spaghetti's cooked, drain it out and we're going to add that to the pasta sauce. Add your pasta sauce back onto the heat. Add your spaghetti. And toss through And then you'll be serving your spaghetti topped with your um, bolo, your chicken, and you can throw some fresh basil, parsley, parmesan, whatever you want over the top.